delivery. Now we've finished our pre-sales documents, inquiry, quotation, and then Walmart has placed an order. This is a sales document. Like we discussed in the last class, now we need to deliver, deliver the physical goods. So this part is called logistics. The document type here is called LF. And this behaves differently than an order, obviously. So what is there in a delivery? Most of the things in the delivery, again, are copied down from an order because we are trying to deliver the goods corresponding to the order that the customer has given us. In this case, say the customer said I need whatever, say a desktop, right? Quantity one or hundred thousand, whatever. And then there could be more line items. And each line item over here will have what is called confirmed date. Confirmed date. You remember when creating the order, SAP has already done what is called as a availability check. So when doing the availability check, SAP has confirmed that these goods will be available or can be confirmed by this date say 14th of February or whatever. So when you try to create this delivery, you should create it for that date. Because if you try to create it before, the system knows that the goods are not going to be available based on the dates available here in the order and it will not allow you to create a delivery. So make sure that the date you are trying to create the delivery is the date the goods are confirmed by that's called the delivery creation date or the delivery date once you got that then you can create a delivery and all the line items over here one or more than one with that date if there is a line item say a desktop or, la or a laptop say that's confirmed for March and you're trying to do a delivery for February, then only the February item comes through. The March item does not come through. Makes sense, right? Only the items that have that are to be delivered in this time frame go into a delivery. The good part is when March comes, you can create another delivery. Another logistics document for the remaining goods that can be delivered only by March. The number of deliveries can be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 100, doesn't matter. Whenever the goods are available, you can create the delivery document. And all the goods that are confirmed by that date, the date when you are creating the delivery, will flow down from the order into the delivery. Now, what do you do in a delivery? Let's say there's a desktop that has closed down from the order into a delivery because it's available by this date, it's confirmed by the date and whatever quantities. Now what do you do in a delivery? Delivery essentially comprises of three pieces. One is called picking. Another is called Packing. Another is PGI or post goods issue. So there are three pieces to a delivery. There are other areas that we are not going to explore at this point, but these are the main three key pieces in a delivery or three key sub processes in a delivery. Picking, packing, PGI. I'm just going to give you a brief overview here. 